That's, because that's your what, name's verbal consent. Yeah, and uh, so so uh, when uh, when Ross, or still behind uh, my friend there, uh, Ross uh, told him to shut the fuck up, right? And uh, he asked for his name again, right? And uh, he didn't he didn't answer at all. Like he didn't say anything. So what did the uh, what did the uh, JP do or Ross did? He went down. He took the chain from the leg chains and he threw it right up in the air, causing uh, my friend to drop immediately with his uh, legs handling, uh, pretty much handling in the air. And he was, he was actually, he was crying because he was in so much pain at that time. And that was uncalled for. And I, I told Ross flat out saying, there's no need for you to do that. And the female JP uh, behind me, uh, told me to shut up and look at the window, uh, look at the wall, and I said, I don't take orders from public officials or, uh, public servants, sorry, right? And, yeah. uh, just, I just kept witnessing it, right? So, that's, that's when they pulled him, uh, from another jail cell, right? And, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, that's the last time that I saw him for this event. And uh, after after that, they threw me in the pit, right? So as soon as they threw me in the pit, I told the Rob Menard, right? As soon as I got in, it says, "So who wants to know about some about about some of the rights?" And uh, yeah. so you get like I got three people just look up at me, and just paying attentively, right? So after that, I got um, after I you know gave them the 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 uh, story there. I was um, <clears throat> I was. Uh, like I was calming down and then I was, uh, I noticed that I didn't even fucking eat at all for 24 hours. And I just like, my hunger just really kicked into high gear, right? So I started like, you know, it's really weak and I was like passing out. Anyways, so I went to go see the council and uh, I specifically told them that I'm going to get the fuck out of here. They have no jurisdiction over me and they know that. And, uh, so, you know, they, they fucking, we played the name game, she told me what charges were, and, uh, all that schman, all that bamboozle. So, uh, I told, uh, so she told me that you should be heard somewhere, uh, within an hour. So, my first hearing, okay, got, uh, I went down there, uh, they asked me for the name, and I said, I'm not that name, or uh, I'm not, the, uh, or, uh, no, it was under, I said, under duress, um, yeah, uh, as soon as I said under duress, the same guy that strangled me yanked me on the back room and threw me upstairs. And uh, he made like some sort of a comment saying, throw him in, uh, so, uh, throwing him in, uh, in some room. I can't remember what it was called. So they threw me in a room where there was no cameras, right? And I said, shit, there was no cameras, man. This cannot be good. <clears throat> so, um, that's when, uh, that's when, uh, that's, that was that was the first time. The second time they pulled me out, right? And uh, right. they're uh, you know bringing me down the stairs and all that shit there. And uh, when the officer told me that he doesn't want any funny business or whatever, um, that uh, if I if I pull any of that bullshit there, that uh, uh, that they're going to be th- uh, putting in the ball and chain, they're like a real prisoner, right? And I said thank you for the for you know dehumanizing me. I'll be, uh, I'll be sure to keep that in mind for my lawsuit, right? Because that's a violation of human rights. You can't put a ball and chain on there. That's slavery. Yeah. And that's against human rights. So they, uh, so they propped me down there, right? And uh, they put me in the witness box, right? And uh, um, the he asked me for the name, right? And I said under duress. Um, again, you know, they uh, the guy yanked me out again. And, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, they, they, uh, tried to bring me upstairs, but I passed out because I was, I was too hungry, um, cause I didn't eat anything, right? And, uh, right. so when I passed out, they were like dragging me upstairs and they pinned me against the wall and Ross, uh, asked me, uh, what's wrong with me? And I said, I'm fucking hungry. I need something to eat. And he said, throw a couple of sandwiches. And I said, sandwiches ain't going to do shit. I can't even fucking drink. I can't even eat because I got no saliva. So they threw, uh, so they threw me in the, um, uh, so they threw me in the, uh, 
jail uh, in the jail cell again. And uh, after I was like sitting down there, I seen six officers comes up. Uh, six officers come up to me right in my front, uh, right in my uh, uh, right in front of my jail cell. And all all six of them came into my jail cell, and I said, uh, the, the only thing I said was like, "Oh shit!" Right. And so that's when they that's when they kicked the shit out of me. That's when they were using the book to stop the bruises and stuff like that. They were kicking me in the ribs. They uh, they kicked me in the jaw and I, uh, they kicked me in the ass too. Was like my my uh, my tailbone was in fucking pain for like a good week. Right. Yeah, I believe it. And uh, one of the officers says, "You better cooperate next time you get pulled out." Right? And I said, you know what? You, hey, I'll do anything you want, but I'm going to be sending you a very big bill. And that's right after I got the kit. I got my ass fucking kicked. Right? Six officers fucking beating the shit out of someone who's completely defenseless. That's fucking. That's excessive force right there. That's huge. So it was. It was not even 45 minutes after. The six officer came, uh, comes back with tasers, and I said, like, Jesus fucking Christ, am I going to die here? Right? So they all come in, right, and they told me to look at the wall. And that's when they that's when they threw the six tasers all at me on my left shoulder. So I was convulsing for 45 minutes, right? And my heartbeat is still fucked up even to today. Right. Oh, I, I can imagine. I can imagine that you're you're you have a lot of damage from uh, what's happened. And not to interrupt, but we only have 20 minutes left in the show. Just so that you know, um, everybody's probably going, "Oh, but he's just getting started." I know. Well, I'm, um, I'm almost done. So I I, I just want to repeat too that you are listening to FreethinkRadio.com. This is lifting the veil with Carrie Lee, and it's not like I'm just going to back off the subject because. I mean, it's important to me. Now, I don't think that because it's important to me, it should be important to you. But I kind of think you think that it is. So anyway, go ahead, Derek. Continue. Um, so, yeah, so after they tased me, it was about three minutes after um, when they were coming to get me. And I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to play along. And I just rescind it and revoke it. And um, so, you know, I played along with her name game and shit like that. And the one of the guys I was uh, taking me in the back room, uh, you know, he leaned over and said, "You just go and sign." And I said, "You're fucking dead to me right now. Don't even talk to me. You're gonna have a nice lawsuit coming at you for the bullshit that you put me through." And uh, he, he said, "You better shut up before I put you back in there." And I said, "Just keep in mind." It's not a threat, it's a promise. So, that's when I uh, went to sign there, and I was just, I was still fucked up on the tasers. I, I didn't even, I just gave them an, uh, a, a clean endorsement, just their name, right? Right. So, that was, that was pretty much it, right? So, now, the, well, my plan for dealing with that is, uh, I already sent in uh, a discovery for that, um, uh, requesting uh, to show proof. Uh, pretty much what Dean does, right? And uh, and uh, they still haven't responded, so I will have to put in a certificate of default. And once I get the certificate of default, they have no choice but to drop uh, uh, drop this, uh, the case because they would have no standing as they have no uh, proof of claim, and they lost it in the certificate of default. And exactly like what uh, Dean said, you know, you take that certificate of default. And with me, uh, with my, what I'm, what I go on is uh, put in a statement of claim, solid, backed up with hardcore facts, with an unrebutted affidavit, and you're walking out with cash. So, so far, I'm just at $3.6 million, and that's just me being very generous. Yeah, well, because I don't think you can put a price on what... Uh yeah, the bullshit. That I don't think happened. you can put a price on that, on on what they did to you. Honestly, I I, I can't imagine um, going through it. But I mean, at the same time, I know I'd probably be fighting back myself because I'm one of those people that doesn't take shit from anybody, and it doesn't matter how big they are. So I yeah, completely I don't, I don't, fully understand. Yeah, I don't let that kind of shit go. No. It's, you know, it's all about acting with honor, and they don't act with honor. If you act with honor with me, I'll act with honor back to you, but the minute that you don't, then all bets are off, and that's kind of just the way that it goes. 
You have to show respect if you're going to be given respect. Respect isn't just an automatic thing, and especially not when you're talking about freaking law enforcement. Exactly. So that's uh, so that's what I'm going to be dealing with. That I pretty much got this in the bag, right? Um, yeah. And so after that, right? It was about uh, March, exactly one year after. That's when my uh, that's when my aunt got uh, back into some of the remedies part. Uh, that's when my aunt got a uh, property bill or a property tax bill. She couldn't take care of it, right? And she, you know, yeah. she was about to lose her house. And I said, you know what? Just let me do the same thing as I did last time. So that's what I did. I did the same thing as last time. And again, it, well, it wasn't it wasn't the last time, but to her, it seemed like it was the last time, right? I do something magic, shit disappears. That's 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 what she gets out of there, right? So, but what I really did is I I just because um, she was about to be brought to court, and I said, you know, let me take care of this, right? So I went into right. court, put in an uh, ordinary promissory note and uh, an envelope. And uh, I told him that the uh, payment is tendered into court. And uh, I put in an affidavit with that too. And uh, yeah, they had to close the account. They had they forced they actually forced the municipal to close the account because it was with prejudice and they couldn't come back. So I so that's how I took care of my aunt's property taxes, right? Nice short. So now she never has to never has to pay property tax again. Yeah, they don't. They don't. They didn't bother going after her uh, for this cycle. Um, but because uh, <laughs> they know better. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's just a it's just a fucking game. There's no point in playing the game if they always win. You know. Um. <clears throat> so. Uh. So I went. So I went away with uh on my uh on my uh like summer vacation when I got back. <laughs> This is kind of like big news for me, but I wasn't exactly <laughs> sure. But when I got back, right, I I went to lunch with my uh, girlfriend, and uh, she said, you know, Derek, you might, you might be annoyed by this, but I'm pregnant. And I just kind of gave her a blank look. And then oh, my oh, then the next look was like me, uh, a deer looking at headlights, you know, just an alarmed look, yeah. and I was like, you're shitting me, right? <laughs> So I was like, "Oh Christ, I'm gonna start looking for land for myself now." So, um, so that's when I started uh, investigating into these land patents, right? And I found out that land patents and getting a loyal pilot is ridiculously easy. Okay. Okay. Now this is very exciting. Everybody, put your listening ears on and pay attention because this is something we all have to do <laughs> you just have to i don't order people around but you fucking have to do this man okay go ahead it's 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 pathetic it's disgustingly easy that's how it easy it is four steps check this out right check this shit out okay first step you gotta you gotta go to the land registry and you have to look for available land available land is what i mean is if it's run by a bank if it's held by a, a municipal if it's unclaimed or if it's abandoned, those are the four statuses we can go after. If you see a status on that, that on a property that you want, you got step one completed. Step okay. Two, now, what are what are the four? What are the four? Abandoned. Abandoned, unclaimed. Um, uh, the the other two, I don't know the exact status, but um, oh, one of them is repossessed. Okay. Uh, repossessed. Is it like a bank foreclosure? Yeah, bank. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And then it's just it's just gonna be municipal. I can't remember what it was under as because I never saw the municipal one. But the guy at the land registry told me that those might be the four that they're looking for. He couldn't tell me exactly. He knew exactly what I was talking about, but he couldn't say it because he was in the yeah. public. So he gave me hints. And um, so that's what that's what he told me. Um, the next step, step two, you have to do a survey. Okay, you have to find out exactly what the parameters of a survey is. I could go into more details with that on Friday. Right now, good. like I said, I'm just going through a general outline. Um, so for the survey, you have to, you know, establish the parameters, what's on it, what the what the mineral is like, where is the general location. Is there an address with it? Any and all available information that you have onto that, put it and file it into the record, okay? 
when you file something in the record with the land registry, they issue you a deed. That is what a deed is. It is a record with the land registry. Okay. 